the Ohio class will serve on until the end of the 2020s, and may even receive some additional acoustic stealth upgrades until they are replaced by a successor, tentatively dubbed the Columbia class. With estimated costs of $4-6 billion each to manufacture, the next-generation boomers may be fewer in number and will use new reactors that do not require expensive overhauls and refueling, allowing them to serve on until 2085. Nine years after the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Ishiro Honda's Godzilla depicted a monster awakened from the depths of the ocean to wreak havoc on Japanese cities. A giant fire-breathing reptile, however, was less horrifying than what was to come. In less than a decade's time, there would be dozens of real undersea beasts capable of destroying multiple cities at a time. I'm referring, of course, to ballistic missile submarines, or boomers in U.S. Navy parlance. Recommended five most powerful aircraft carriers, subs, bombers and fighter aircraft ever the most deadly of the real-life kaiju prowling the oceans today are the 14 Ohio-class ballistic missile submarines, which carry upwards of half of the United States' nuclear arsenal on board. If you do the math, the Ohio-class boats may be the most destructive weapon system created by humankind. Each of the 170-meter-long vessels can carry 24 Trident II submarine-launched ballistic missiles SLBMs which can be fired from underwater to strike at targets more than 7,000 miles away depending on the load. Recommended this video shows what happens if Washington, D.C. is attacked with nuclear weapons as a Trident II re-enters the atmosphere at speeds of up to Mach 24, it splits into up to eight independent re-entry vehicles, each with a 100 or 475 kiloton nuclear warhead. In short, a salvo, from an Ohio-class submarine, which can be launched in less than one minute, could unleash up to 192 nuclear warheads to wipe 24 cities off the map. This is a nightmarish weapon of the apocalypse. The closest competitor to the Ohio-class submarine is the Russia's sole remaining Typhoon-class submarine, a larger vessel with 20 ballistic missile launch tubes. However, China, Russia, India, England and France all operate multiple ballistic missile submarines with varying missile armaments, and, even a few such submarines would suffice to annihilate the major cities in a developed nation. Recommended North Korea has 200,000 soldiers in its special forces. What possible excuse is there for such monstrous nation-destroying weaponry? The logic of nuclear deterrence while a first strike might wipe out a country's land-based missiles and nuclear bombers, it's very difficult to track a ballistic missile submarine patrolling quietly in the depths of the ocean, and there's little hope of taking them all out in a first strike. Thus, ballistic missile submarines promise the unstoppable hand of nuclear retribution, and should deter any sane adversary from attempting a first strike or resorting to nuclear weapons at all. At least, that's the hope. As such, the Trident armed Ohio-class submarines will have succeeded in their mission if they never fire their weapons in anger. The Ohio-class boats entered service in the 1980s as a replacement for five different classes of fleet ballistic missile submarines, collectively known as the 41 for Freedom. Displacing more than 18,000 tons submerged, the new boomers remained the largest submarines to serve in the U.S. Navy, and the third largest ever built. With the exception of the Henry M. Jackson, each is named after a U.S. state, an honor previously reserved for large surface warships. In the event of a nuclear exchange, a boomer would likely receive its firing orders via very low-frequency radio transmission. While a submarine's missiles are not pre-targeted, like those in in fixed silos, they can be assigned coordinates quite rapidly. The first eight Ohio-class boats were originally built to launch the Trident IC-4 ballistic missile, an advanced version of the earlier Poseidon SLBM. However, by now all of the boomers are armed with the superior Trident 2D-5 ballistic missile, which has 50% greater range and is capable of very accurate strikes, which could enable them to precisely target military installations as a first-strike weapon. Ohio-class submarines also come armed with four 21-inch tubes that can launch Mark 48 torpedoes. However, these are intended primarily for self-defense, a ballistic missile submarine's job by SNT to hunt enemy ships and submarines, but to lie as low and quiet as possible to deny adversaries any means of tracking their movements. The submarine's nuclear reactor gives it virtually unlimited underwater endurance and the ability to maintain cruising speeds of 20 knots 23 miles per hour while producing very little noise. Pages